Well, hello and welcome to day 16 of Delights of Christmas and we're getting close to Christmas Day now um, here on December 16th. And so today we're going to be looking at the final, finally the announcement of Jesus Christ's birth. So here we are, Luke 1 verses 26 through 35. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Favored. Isn't that such a powerful word? Um, that Gabriel says to Mary, you have found favor with God. And I don't know, I don't think Mary did anything to find favor with God. It's that God blessed her with his favor. And God has blessed us with his favor by giving us Jesus Christ as his one and only son to save us from our sins. And that's kind of an inexplicable thought, the favor of God. God Almighty, when we talked about a few days ago, the standing in the presence of God. And now we're talking about the favor of God. Not only can we be in his presence, we have his favor. We are... You know, that's where that word favorite comes from. We have his favor. We, he enjoys us being in his presence. And so I don't know about you, but I want to experience that. I want to experience what it is to have the favor of God. And we have that through his Holy Spirit. We have that when we spend time with him. And we get to enjoy this holy, perfect, complete, lacking nothing, full of abounding joy. And it overflows that is the favor of God on us. And we don't deserve anything that he gives us. We don't deserve Jesus, but yet we are completely favored when God gives us his Holy Spirit um, through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. And here we get to enjoy and to not be afraid. And we get to be favored ones as we get to enjoy this Christmas season with the blessings of joy that are before us. And so... Today, we're just going to pray and we're going to think about being favored and what that is. So if you would just join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would come and just overshadow me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you that you found favor with me, though it is nothing that I deserve. God, that somehow there is favor placed upon me. And I know that you did that because you love so sacrificially. And so, Father, I thank you for that. I thank you that you chose to love us. You chose to send Jesus Christ to earth in the form of a baby. God, that you took on flesh in order to give us favor, that we might find joy and be able to dwell with you eternally. So, Lord, I just thank you for that today. It's in your son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So your challenge today is to do something that will grant favor to somebody else. In a sense, kind of that, like, you know, you go to Chick-fil-A and the pass it on kind of thing. You could do that, be in, you know, pay for somebody's meal behind you, grant them favor. Maybe you bake a pie, give it to somebody. Maybe you simply pick up your phone and call someone. Um, I think of calling my grandmother, not because I don't talk to her all the time, but just because she is a favorite of mine and I would just love to spend time with her on the phone. And so maybe you can think about a friend that you can pray for or even text and say, hey, I'm praying for you or how can I be praying for you? You've been on my heart. Those are the things that we can think about and just Granting favor, not that we are so high and mighty that we can grant favor on others, but that we can show somebody else
favor. And so that's something that we can do today. And so think about that. And as you go and do that, enjoy your time with that person. Enjoy your time doing that while also knowing that God enjoys and has gifted his favor on us because he enjoys when we are in his presence. So thank you. And we will see you tomorrow.